Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video we are going to be preparing for the puppies to go home. They officially go home this Saturday, so this is probably going to be my last video with the Mystery Machine litter, which is so bittersweet because it's also Henley's last litter with us. And this litter has just been phenomenal. Overall, their temperaments have just been amazing and they have been so, so easy as far as just every single stage of raising them. So it's crazy to think that's almost over. But today we are going to be preparing for them to go home. I've got all their go home bag stuff laid out that I want to share with you guys and just sh show you guys what we send home all of our puppies with. And yeah, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let's just get into today's video. All right, guys. So like I said, we're going to be packing go home bags today. Our go home bags change pretty regularly on what we include and what our puppies get to take home. But a couple things do stay the same. So first, I'm just gonna go through which each puppy or what each puppy is getting from this litter, and then we'll do a little montage of me packing their bags. And then here at the end, we'll try to give you guys a little bit of update and probably take you guys outside where the puppies are playing and show you them for the very last time before they go home. So let me go grab one bag and share with you guys what all is in there. All right guys, so here is one of the bags all filled. So each puppy gets their very own Rosemary Doodle like branded little tote bag. And as you can see, they're pretty full in here. And then without a doubt, every single puppy and every single litter we've had goes home with a folder. So these are the generic little folders we use. They're just little file folders. It has his name, so Shaggy, and then now Bandit. And then this has all of his records, his veterinary records, things like that. And it will also, once the puppies are microchipped, which we might do that today with you guys since I'm vlogging. Once the puppies are microchipped, I also staple in their microchip information onto this folder so it's not easily lost and their families can easily go on and register them. So that is their folder that every single puppy goes home with. And then also, without a doubt, every single puppy goes home with their very own snuggle puppy from Rosemary Doodles. So we have had great results with our snuggle puppies with helping with crate training. Um, some of our puppies still carry them like to this day. The other day on Instagram, I'll pop it up here. I had a family share a story from one of their um, dogs. Like it was Indies, I think. What was it? Ski Town Litter. Yeah, Jackson who still carried around his snuggle puppy. So we love this. We find this great for puppies, great for crate training. Almost every single time too, our puppies go home with some sort of blanket with litter mate scent or mom scent on it. So this is the blanket for this puppy. And then also they go home with a bag of their food. So this is the bags that we use. They're from Amazon and linked on my Amazon storefront. And then we just have their kibble in here, which I'll normally take a Sharpie and write on here the food but it's the purina pro plan lamb and rice puppy formula we send that like info out to puppy families like in the first couple weeks of them being born so they can go ahead and get their food so they don't like have to worry about like utilizing this but it's nice for them just to have it on hand especially if they have a longer travel day say for instance they get stuck in traffic have to stay overnight somewhere when they're traveling home whatever reason it's nice to just go ahead and send them home with a small little bag of it and then each litter we do either like a different toy or we'll do a bag of treats. Um, we'll kind of change it up on what we do. But for this litter, since they were the mystery machine litter, I ended up going into PetSmart the other day and they had Scooby-Doo themed toys. So I had to grab this litter, this little cute toy. This is the Scooby Snacks Bark toy that I found at PetSmart. I thought this was the perfect, perfect, perfect little toy and added thing to add. It squeaks, it like ruffles, it crinkles. It's like the perfect toy. They are going to absolutely love this. So when I saw this, I know I had to include it in their go home bags. So that is everything that the puppies get in their go home bags. Sometimes I'll also throw in like a poop, like a roll of poop bags and stuff as well, or some pee pads um, if they're traveling very far. But overall, that's everything that's in their bags. So I'm gonna set you guys up, finish packing the rest of the puppies' bags, and then we'll go outside and hang out with them for a little bit.
guys so as you see i am done packing the bags over here so we ended up actually only having four more of our branded bags left i am way overdue for ordering some new branded bags and also some more snuggle puppies in bulk i had to buy these on amazon but luckily there was a small litter but after our last couple big litters we went through like all of our stash so I need to order more of that, but I'm planning on doing that while I'm on maternity leave. So for our Guardian Home Puppy, they already have a Rosemary Doodle bag. So I just bought this little bag at TJ Maxx to put all her stuff in because if I ordered more bags, they would not be here in time. And then, so she has a different bag. And then also at PetSmart, they only had four Scooby Snacks and our keeper was Velma, but they did have a Velma toy. So I ended up just grabbing her a little Velma toy. So that is how she is different, but her Guardian family is amazing and I know they do not care whatsoever. They're just excited to be bringing home another puppy, but she has all her goodies in there as well, but that's why. She's a little different because I know them. They already have Rosemary Doodle merch, things like that. And I didn't think that they would care. So that's why her bag is a little different. All right, so now that we officially have all of their bags packed, I am going to take you guys outside and just show you them and then playing around, romping around and just being fun outside. But once we bring them back in, we're going to microchip each puppy. So we use these Spy Nano microchips. They're great. Um, they register to me before or like they're registered to me until the parents like switch over so even if the parent like forgets and doesn't register the microchip the puppy isn't like it's still registered under someone so like i my name and stuff and info will pop up so we love these so this is what it looks like on the individual pack we get ours on um finana.com or amazon and it's super simple we do it ourselves um if you're a breeder you can really learn how to do it yourself it's really easy and it's a lot more cost effective microchipping puppies at home than it is to microchip them at the vet because not only do they charge you for the microchip but they charge you to do it as well and then we just have a little at home microchip reader i'm trying to find where it is here it is you just buy this off amazon as well and it's a microchip reader and you can make sure that you actually put the microchip in the puppy appropriately so that's what we're gonna do once we get back in from playing with the pups but let's head outside and catch up with the mystery machine litter for the last time all right guys we're outside in the backyard now my brother-in-law's here so the puppies saw him and they're like obsessed with people puppy 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 so here's everybody puppy puppy hi velma <laughs> hi guys so here they all come they are dirty because it's been raining a little bit but here is everybody like i said they're very dirty from playing doing all the activities they are so so sweet they're a little worn out now but that right there is fred hello fred his new name like i mentioned earlier or in my last video is remy and we have shaggy here his new name is bandit he loves to dig in the dirt so he's very dirty we have velma she's our spunky girl wanting all the attention her new name's holly Daphne is over there running towards Scooby and Scooby's the one with the white on him as you can see He's got some white, but they just love being out here They love running around and playing and it's fenced in and really private so we don't have to worry about any Anything coming back here. They're not out here by themselves long obviously and I'm always right through the door in the dog room with the window open and I can always see them but as you can see Holly is such a loving puppy she reminds me so much of her mama Henley. She's always beside me if I'm out here. <laughs> Ready to go chasing after Connor. Fred and Scooby-Doo are getting into it. Puppy, puppy, puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy! Come on, Fred! <laughs> Velma's trying to attack my camera. Here's Mr. Fred with Shaggy. He's so handsome. They actually might be getting ready to rain. It's a little dark clouds in the sky it's been it was a rainy morning this morning so that's why they're a little dirty from playing outside but they'll get a bath before they go home so a little bit of dirt never scared me as you can see they could be kind of vicious have a lot of attitude playing there's Daphne look Fred's just enjoying the belly rub you enjoying the belly rub Fred there's Velma that was a walnut on our building, if you heard that loud noise. Daphne, I haven't seen you, sissy. There's Daphne, she is our adventurous little water pup. She loves to play in the water bowl and is normally always getting into something, huh, Daphne? Daphne! And to the water bowl, probably. 
I don't know, laying in the water, which is no shock there. They've also broken that thing. It's not fully broken, but it's a little messy back here, but look, she's laying in the wet water and like rolling all in it. She loves the water. She's definitely a water pup. Hi, sissy. Hi. Say, I like to be dirty. So that's Daphne. But yeah, that's everyone. They're just playing outside for a little bit. Once they get done playing out here, I'm going to bring them in and then I'll show you guys how I microchip them. <laughs> Look at them. So funny. So we went ahead and came inside. As you can see, they are chilling on the big dog's beds now. Just hanging out. Daphne, what are you doing? So they're hanging out in here playing and I'm going to grab them one by one and we will microchip them. All right, guys, so what you're going to want to do is do it on like an elevated surface. You don't want to be bending down. You want to bring the puppy to you. I'm going to get my microchip out and get everything prepared before bringing the puppy up here. There should be a corner you can peel back the plastic to get the little microchip device out if I can get it. So I just like to barely open it at the top like so so just make a slight little hole so i can pull this item out this is the microchip and then it leaves the barcodes and everything in here and then what i'll do is i'll write the puppy's name down that i'm gonna do so this can be shaggy's and i'll write their name on it so i know which folder to staple this to so that my pen this is what it looks like before you microchip. You are going to want to remove this little stopper mechanism, which is this blue pla plastic piece. Lay it down and then obviously you'll remove that. It is a decent size needle, as you can see, and this is just going directly under their skin. I will get the puppy and show you guys. If you need help, um, you can have someone help you keep the puppy still if you're just getting started, but turn our microchip reader on. I've done this for a lot of puppies, so I'm pretty good at doing it all by myself. We grab Shaggy, because this is his microchip. Okay. All right, so here's Shaggy, now Bandit. I'm just gonna prop him up here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch in between their, like you're gonna find their collarbones, and you're going to pinch and lift up and put it right in that skin. So I'm just going to take it off. You also want to make sure the point is facing down. I'm going to pinch, find that pinch, and then do that. Obviously, he cried. It doesn't hurt too, too bad. Some puppies cry. Some puppies don't. But as you can see, now he's fine. It's definitely not a fun, fun thing for them to do. But it obviously protects them in ways that's far worth the, you know, a couple seconds worth of discomfort. But he did really good, as you can see now he's completely fine. You take your microchip reader, scan it, make sure the numbers line up, which they do, and then he's good to go. He doesn't even have any blood or anything like that. So it's that simple. And then now we'll find his bag and his folder, pull it out from his bag, and find my little stapler Let's see if it has staples in it yep find my little mini stapler and i just like to open up the folder take this and just line it up on this side and staple it to the folder like so so now he's got his records his microchip info all in his folder put it back in his bag you want to make sure you don't get microchip info you know, mixed up. So that's why I like to pack bags and then do it just so I make sure every single time I microchip a puppy, uh, you know, automatically know exactly what bag it's going into. So that's how you do it. So I'm going to finish microchipping everyone and fast forward through all that and then we'll close out this vlog. <laughs>
guys. So we have played outside, we have had our microchips, and now everyone is in their crates. We've got Velma and Scooby-Doo up top, and down below we have Daphne, Shaggy, and Fred. As you can see, they're already starting to lay down and get comfortable at this point. <laughs> You can see they know the drill. They're all laying down. They have been doing great in their crates. Um, they're just trying to get comfortable and spread out. They'll take a nap in here for probably anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. So yeah, they're doing great with the crate training. They've honestly been super simple and super easy compared to some litters that I have had in the past. So that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. There'll probably be one more video before the baby's here and I take a little bit of a break. Um, I'm not sure when, maybe next week or something, just kind of talking about the future of Rosemary Doodles, what we're planning for next year and all that. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me as always and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye dudes.